What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going over the PlayStation 4, PlayStation Store deals and offers of the week for the UK side of things. If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that like and let me know your guys' thoughts on the deals of the week in those comments down below. Remember, your guys' comments help out fellow gamers that are trying to decide what games to get let's go ahead and get right into it we get games under 16 which we'll go over first we got save up to 65 percent off ps4 games and playstation presents there are a lot of deals this week and i'm going to go through this list as fast as possible but also highlight some games for you guys uh call of duty advanced warfare and ghost honestly nobody's playing it don't don't waste your time i loved ghost uh extinction mode if you guys did i'd love to know if anybody else did in those comments we got knack 2 great couch co-op game uh metro those games are always awesome la noir remastered it's great it you know it's set in like what the 50s um and it's a uh, uh you know an old you know remnant reminiscent of what Los Angeles used to be or maybe uh, Fallout 4 also available um, why is the price not showing Sony and PlayStation this is so frustrating when you do this to your boy it's $9.99 okay so uh, all of these deals uh, you don't need PlayStation Plus in order to take advantage of them which are nice we got uh, Killzone Shadowflow uh, with the season pass, we've seen this go for a little bit less. Um, Gun Gungrave also on sale. Space Hulk. Uh, there's some indie titles in here, but don't worry. There's some AAA titles too. And keep in mind, you know, you never know. Some indie titles might be like a diamond in the rough. So that's the games under 16. We're going to go over the games uh, that are 65% off or up to 65% off. And here are some of the AAA games that I was talking about. There's more, though, because there's a lot of games on sale. We get Grand Theft Auto 5, Black Ops uh, 3, which is... Black Ops 3 is the older one, but a lot of people still play uh, Zombies, especially the Zombie Chronicles, because they brought back some of the older Zombies maps. Anyways, Hitman 2 is also a great time. A Bioshock, the collection, is amazing. I'm actually on the fence of getting it for the PlayStation 4. I own all the physical copies for the PlayStation 3 three and um yeah i haven't bought any uh bioshock on the playstation 4 batman return to arkham is a freaking amazing game and justice 2 is a, a great game too if you guys like superhero fighting games um this one is not really kid friendly but a little bit more kid friendly than what you would see with like mortal kombat i think this one might be rated teen or something Double check. Uh, but Jurassic World Evolution, great game. Loved it. Uh, it's one of the simulator games that, you know, I never thought I would, uh, like, fall in love with. And I did. Uh, so throwing that out there. Just Cause 4, Standard Edition. Just Cause is a pretty cool game. A lot of people kind of, like... Uh, just forget about that one real quick. Mortal Kombat XL. This is an older version, but it's still amazing. Um, so if you guys don't have the money to get Mortal Kombat 11 or kind of on the fence and you want to play something, uh, you know, that might be a little bit cheaper, that's a good option for you. NBA 2K Playgrounds 2 is on sale for $7.99. Glad to see that happening. Team Sonic Racing has been on sale a lot. It's $19.99 and it's going to keep going on sale. Um, not too many people are playing this game. A lot of people are on Crash Team Racing, to be honest with you guys. But uh, Team Sonic Racing is actually really good. If you give it a shot, give it a go, you'll see what I'm talking about. But do you really want to spend the $19.99? Um, probably watch some gameplay beforehand. We got Shadow of War, uh, which is also amazing. Definitely do recommend it. Um, and if you guys are getting it, you might as well get the Definitive Edition. It comes with more stuff. Um, Lego games on sale as well. Um, Deluxe Edition of Marvel Super Heroes 2. Uh, I, I usually see like Marvel uh, a little bit more expensive when it comes to like Lego games. Um, DC not not that much let's go ahead and see really quickly batman 3 keep in mind these games have been released at different times um 2014 this one's a newer one that's a deluxe edition um but you know it, it, it is true like the, those games uh, are a little bit more pricey uh jurassic world evolution deluxe edition if you guys are going to sink your teeth into it might as well go with all the bells and whistles we got some more call of duties on sale anybody still playing call of duty let me know in those comments down below now i've been thinking about getting cars 3 for quite some time because um my girls love to play video games 
And uh, this seems very, like, kid-friendly. Would you guys recommend it? Have you guys had any experience with Cars 3? I'm asking for a recommendation, guys. Give me give me some feedback on that one. Um, yeah, that is going to do it for uh, save up to 65% off. PlayStation Presents. Holy cow. I told you guys I'm going to try to go through this quickly um we got stranger things uh stranger things <laughs> life is strange too my brain's all over the place uh life is strange 2 is on sale you could uh try the first episode for 329 uh first episode uh could be between like three to five hours depending on how uh you play the game if you like to go off and like scavenge and stuff it'll probably uh take you like five hours to complete the first episode um but Typically, two to three hours is a safe bet. Uh, the full game uh, is $21.99. The fourth uh, episode is going to be releasing soon, so keep that in mind, too. Firewatch, um, this that game's, like, super old. Uh, Dead Cells, uh, The Witness, The Escapist 2. We get some actually uh, really cool, like, indie titles that are in the mix. Um, Hello Neighbor is also on sale. This game was, like, super hyped up. Uh, we saw toys from it. Uh in, in like retail stores and stuff and then all of a sudden nobody really cared about it <laughs> all that marketing and it the, the game just didn't perform as well as i personally thought it would uh given the hype around it transistors it's a beautiful game if you guys uh you know kind of like the bird's eye view type of video game you're definitely gonna love transistors um that's just my opinion um, now, I have been playing Enter the Gungeon on the Nintendo Switch, and I gotta say, it is a lot of fun on the Nintendo Switch. It, it's probably a lot of fun on the PlayStation 4 too, uh, but that game is literally, like, really good in a handheld mode. Just saying. Throwing that out there. I'm a PlayStation 4 guy. Um, I do love my Nintendo Switch um, as well, but if you, like, compare hours, like, I spend maybe six six plus hours a day on the playstation 4 and um maybe six to eight hours a week on nintendo switch <laughs> if that if that like if i if i uh get hooked on a game or like i start loving something then i'll probably go back but yeah hopefully the audio quality is getting a little bit better i've been struggling with elgato um the elgato capture uh card uh, software uh, has been giving me a lot of issues and if you guys aren't familiar with like recording even if you use like a different recording software it still needs the Elgato uh, you know part of it for the setting so um, and the, the audio was like really really awful so hopefully uh, at least that has gotten a little bit better if it has please let me know in those comments down below um, but i've been like literally switching on microphones i get the blue spark which is uh you know a really good microphone i get the blue yeti i get the snowball um and i have like four different mics and i've tried them all and it's all the same which is very frustrating anyways uh quiplash definitely do recommend it it is a great couch co-op game you can either make new friends or destroy um, some friends and friendships uh, so um, no that game is actually pretty freaking cool because you guys can play a uh, couch co-op with up to eight players and more people in the audience using their cell phones everybody has a cell phone and it's not like one of those like cheap little gimmicky things it's actually uh, pretty cool and interactive and hilarious depending on who you're playing with like if you're playing with me yo uh, things might get dark. It might get a little bit adult themed. It might get a little bit risky. Um, it's all part of the fun. <laughs> it's all part of the fun. Um, yeah, but that that game is like one of those games where like when when the kids go to bed, that's the game you put on. <laughs> or when you have an, a, a, an adult party, that's the game you put on. Um, but anyways, uh, Claire Extended Cut, like I said, there's a lot of games in this list. And I'm trying to go through this like as quick as possible, um, you know, but also highlight some games because that's the whole point of like me doing this. Um, and also, please, 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 please highlight some of your own games in those comments down below. Um, you know, doing this over the years, I started doing uh, the PlayStation deals and offers of the week on the PlayStation 3 before the PlayStation 4 got released. Um, so I've been around the block and I understand like people can get a little bit frustrated 
uh, when I don't highlight some of the games that you might, you know, really want um, to be highlighted. Um, it's not on purpose. I'm not trying to like skip over your games or maybe a game that you really like. Um, it's just for time's sake, I try to like speed it up. So yeah, your guys' help in those comments definitely do help out. But ladies and gentlemen, that's actually going to do it for the deals and offers of the week. I'd love to know your guys' honest thoughts about everything that we talked about here today. And of course, uh, like and comment is much appreciated. Uh, if you guys are new, please subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.